This bombshell announcement leaving the country. And also, we have no more time. Can't pass this up. And I'm guessing full scholarship too, right? The broken pieces. Oh, but on the outside, she's just happy for him. I'm sure she actually is happy for him too. But this is masking the, the agony. We thought there was more time. We thought we were going to be in the same country. <laughs> Oh man. Don't know for sure, but I feel like this might be the, the last time I see this opening, since it's a two-parter. I gotta say, season three has been something really special. The other seasons were good, but I feel like this season hit a depth. The other seasons had their deep moments, but I feel like this season sort of hit that level at one point, and then just kind of stayed there. While of course having, you know, a, a nice amount of levity and fun episodes. The, the rap battle comes to mind, which is excellent. Another thing I think was really great about this season was they introduced a, a lot of characters in a way that makes this world feel really rich. It's kind of weird to think back to season one and think about a time where it was really just the three of them but now not only do we have a full student council office we have this whole host of students that made season three feel a lot more fun kaguya wants to confess part two if you're gonna do it you better do it now although miyuki has plans of his own yeah i feel like it would be a really really big deal a really terrible thing for a character if she tried to sabotage it kind of glad we're skipping that yeah if she doesn't go to stanford it's over it's pretty much over <laughs> that was great no that would be the worst that's one thing i like about the characters a lot is they all have their own little oddities you know and flaws but i think what's essential for liking them is the fact that when push comes to shove they're actually they're great and they have each other's best interests at heart. I wouldn't blame Kaguya at all for having that thought, you know, asking him to stay or trying to sabotage him, but I think she'd be a different character and sort of an unlikable character if she, you know, decided that she was going to stop her from going to Stanford. But she has a big decision to make, you know, if she can still apply or get in or, you know, even go to a different school. There's lots of schools in Stanford in California, Connecticut, wherever it is. I guess even before that, she has to decide if that's something she would want. If she wants it, then the next step would be to figure out the logistics of what it would take to get there and then, you know, actually try it. But without doing that, I think it's pretty clear this would be the end. I think that long distance relationships are possible, but central in them is, well, one, having a relationship in the first place and two, having a definitive end date. You know, it's the long distance relationships that are open-ended that I think have no chance. You need something to point to to look forward to. You know, like, oh, on this date, it'll be whatever. It's just life, I don't know. Gotta adjust. Yeah, that's really good advice. Don't leave anything on the table. Time pressure. <laughs> that's like three whole seasons. Will she actually do it though? Can she actually do it? Hot canned coffee. <laughs> I have the so cocky. <laughs> Nah, that's gotta come from her. Exactly. Exactly. That's, that's alright. I don't see an issue. I mean, usually I would say this is ridiculous, but in this show, where misunderstandings abound, very self aware. Uh, they're overthinking it. I mean, we know that none of this is necessary because Miyuki is so in love with her. He'll, he'll be happy for anything. Especially because he knows her so well. He knows what it would be a big deal for her to say anything at all, you know, any any positive gesture. The confession is, is going to be secondary. I think the concept of love languages is so key. I think it's easy to expect people to show affection in exactly the way you want to be shown affection. But I think if you focus on who a person is and what their preferences are, there's a lot that becomes clear about what they actually want and what they actually like and the depths of their feelings. This is something that I experienced very clearly in, in hindsight, like if I have a, a breakup or a fight or something like that, it becomes pretty clear in, in its absence how much the other person was doing for me, even if I couldn't you know, previously point to any big gestures or gushing confessions or whatever. You realize that someone spending time with you, you know, someone having you in their lives at all, sharing experiences with you, paying attention to what you have to say the most basic of correspondences is bigger than it might feel because it's become normal i think one way i'm often misunderstood is for me spending time with someone is an affirmation of my feelings for them and my regard for them even though it might not seem that way the, i don't know the more i experience the the more i i don't really want or need i should say outward confessions or 
or sweeping gestures. It's just nice to have people who want to be in my life, you know, who take the chance with me, speaking of love is war and you know, all the risks that, that brings. And so for Miyuki, who knows Kaguya and knows how she's not really the most expressive person, the simplest of things, just any form of anything would mean the world to him. Yeah, yeah, don't overthink it. The perfect is the enemy of the good, etc. Well, I mean, that would be huge. <laughs> yeah, this would be great. Uh, it's more than enough. Is this like the writer's insecurity about being able to deliver on a satisfying finale, a satisfying confession after all the build-up? Wait, save this! <laughs> save this for later. <laughs> That's something that I've noticed. He's always checking for Kaguya's reaction. No matter what's going on, he always sort of checks in on her to get a, a glimpse of what she's going through, what she's thinking. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot for her. To take it all at once. Kaguya wants to confess part three. Oh, she's hunting him down. Oh, he'll be there. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I really appreciate the fact that he can still be natural, despite all the anxiety. It's alright, own it. Own your love of flowers. That is not true on so many levels. Good for her being strong-minded enough to not fall for that peer pressure and keep an open mind. Actually give him a chance and like trust her own instincts. Tsubami is a catch. Oh no. <laughs> Misunderstandings continue. Is he making this up to impress her like I do with constellations? Does that mean another date? And that's fine. Yeah, this is perfectly reasonable and also a huge relief. Ooh. I feel like the answer is some somewhat obvious. I mean, he doesn't know what the hell she's talking about, but... If it's me, I'm reading this as a really good sign. This is a good moment. It's fine if she doesn't know yet. Again, he doesn't know he confessed, but I think that if a confession is done well, or maybe just in general when approaching other people, I think you want to separate expectation from it a little bit. You know, it has to be about doing what actually feels right. And I think that honesty is generally a good place to start. You know, it's a good guide. And it's hard to go wrong with being fully honest if you, you kind of have separated sort of the lurking manipulative elements where you think you're, you're owed something or deserve something or whatever, or think that your confession means that someone should like you, etc. So being in this moment where she's unsure that's that's totally fine that's where she she is so i think the goal is to dispel her anxiety while sort of reaffirming his own feelings if you were aware of what was going on so i wouldn't put a time demand on it i think more important would be that they actually just start hanging out and then you know you can say what you hope it to be but i think that would just be a huge weight off my shoulders if i was Tsubami. you know like oh, okay well i'm uh, there's no pressure i just you know can spend time with this guy that i kind of like and see where it goes from there and i think with that anxiety out of the way it's much more likely for her to have fun with him and to feel good in his presence and to associate him with you know, something of benefit to her life. And I think in its way it also shows strength and confidence. <laughs> right, but he has no idea. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, when will he figure it out? <laughs> Ever so slightly off. It's a couple degrees. <laughs> Speaking of not giving a time limit, but she took it well. Yeah, there you go. Success. Just, just take it. Take it and run with it. Don't look at it. And just like a casual backflip for good measure. Eh, we got enough of those around. Come back when you have wealth and power. <laughs> oh wait, but he actually gives his heart, like his real heart. That's legit, if, you know, kind of pointless. <laughs> it's very romantic though. So romantic. The wheels are turning. Think, Ishigami, think. Shinzo Sasageo. It's because you've been watching Attack on Titan. He sort of lucked out, skipping all those steps by accident. He might have stumbled all over himself, if not. But I mean, he's done a great job kind of handling himself, despite the anxiety. Literally playing a goddess. Does she even need to act? 
結局会長は見つからなかった。I feel like we're about to get a very good glimpse of Muki's massive balls. We're all playing Muki's game right now. Doubt it. Dual Confessions Part 1, hell yeah. She's kind of lost it in <laughs> these episodes. What a thing to notice. It's like the clocks in the intro. Which also, in hindsight, has the meaning of extreme time pressure. Just on principle, I'm gonna bet against Chika solving this. <laughs> yeah, but not by you. <laughs> Told you someone would sneak and punch. <laughs> it's sad how much confidence with which she said that too. This again, this or inorganic paper thing. And who not okay, who would notice that? Chica's really getting dragged. <laughs> She'll be alright. She needs this. And it comes from a good place. But yeah. There's some things she can only do by herself. Things she needs to do by herself. Yeah, it's a lot of growth really quickly too. Sort of, you know, somewhat forced or enhanced by the confession or by the Stanford news. Yep. Yeah, and she was saying all this and what she likes about him. Yuki really, really leaving a lot up to chance. He really trusts in her. How do you heat it up? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Move on, it's okay, you don't need the coffee. Yeah, yeah, it's not important. Right. <gasps> also doesn't matter, also doesn't matter. In a way it's good, it cuts out her escape a little bit. Something that she needs to do. <laughs> no. How quickly they come crawling back. Oh, yeah. This is so big, there's gonna be a lot of embarrassment later. There's nowhere to go but forward. <laughs> Indeed. Own it. No time for doubt. Good. This is good. All that's left is the truth. It couldn't be any better. There's no trickety trick. That's gonna move this rock, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Oof, the anticipation. <laughs> I can't wait to see what he has in store, like what his actual plan is. His back's up against the wall, right? Like this is it, it's now or never. I'm curious to see if they actually will confess just because I know that the manga is a lot longer than the anime. It would be a lot for something actual to happen in this episode. I'm kind of not expecting it, but I am hopeful. It would be great. It's such a key moment for their characters and it's not even necessarily because of the confession of the relationship. It's, it's sort of a culmination of them conquering their own fears. Will they be able to express the things they want to say? Will they be able to take that leap into danger, into the risk of having their heart broken and having all their fears be validated, all their hopes and dreams crushed? I really hope so. I think there's there's something really important about it for them as individuals.